Hi Amanda Armstrong, welcome to the back office. I want to build a kit, but I'm feeling a little bit sluggish. So instead, we're gonna have a look inside this Now TV box, powered by Sky. Yes, the Sky TV Corporation. So if you own Sky Satellite Receiver, I think you can order a Now TV box, which seems to be a sort of streaming box. I don't have anything else apart from this bit, so I've got no problem tearing it down. It seems, uh, Oh yeah, and thank you to Retro Princess on Twitter for this. Yeah, yes, that was a good guess, wasn't it? Straight under, straight in there. Plastic is actually clear, believe it or not. There seems to be a port here for programming. Interesting, look at that, that's a, such a clean, shiny look now. Seems a shame to sort of take it apart. But uh, I don't know what I can do with it if, oh look. Security screws, the cheeky devils. Nah, nah, not sure happy about that, to be honest with you, but I think we've got some here, if I can extract them. So yeah, if you've got uh, a Now TV box, apparently it was sort of made by uh, Roku, 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 you know, the one who does the sort of streaming -y box, so you've got a good chance of possibly getting the firmware upgraded on it. Sort of going through my various screwdrivers to see if I can get rid of the bloody screw security screw, it's not at all anything like one I've got size-wise, so no, damn it, ah, the flat blade of doom, thank gosh for that, that was, I was getting worried there, uh, still worried because it's so bloody hard, I think we're going to be going for an aggressive teardown today, so this now TV box is very unlikely to be going back together, because I'm gonna try to rip it open like a hulk. Arrgh! That's not going very well. Damn it, it's made well. I need to bash it, I think. Okay, that's not working out. I might just have to try one more thing, and if that doesn't work, I'm gonna jump cut, because I know you're not gonna want to see what I'll have to resort to to get this open. So yes, this is my cheek lamp. I'm going to attempt to give it the clampage. But look, I'm not even sure I can fit the bloody cheek lamp now. Ah, oh. They've certainly managed to make this bloody awkward. All right, see you in a sec. Bloody thing. Ah, now we'll show you who's boss. <laughs> what? What? Whoa! <laughs> That's the way you definitely should not be doing it. Definitely do not do it that way. Let's clear the deck so we can focus on the innards, the lovely, lovely innards. We need our toises. Of course, the PCB wants to be sort of retained still by those. Now, I know you're saying, Andrew, Andrew, you're being very disrupt, disruptive, destructive, indeed. Uh, yeah, I'm being quite destructive, but only of its case. So if this is useful and I can reprogram it, I probably still will reuse it, to be honest with you. I'll just recase it in something. So let's see what we can see. And I've already seen so many interesting things. We're going to be fascinated. I can tell you, you're going to be fascinated, man. So there is your main CPU. It's a Samsung K4P2G324ED. I'm guessing this could be one of their sort of ARM type chips, or is it an Equinos, Equinos, their own variation of an ARM chip um, using the ARM core. There is its 
flash memory. So this contains all of its software components. This is an infrared doofer. So I guess that's for the remote control. I'm presuming it comes with a remote control and that's its, its receiver. Bit of a busted PCB. Not sure how that happened. Hmm. On the back, we know it's got HDMI and AV out. So those are those ports thusly. Although, there we go. I was waiting for the camera to focus thusly. So that's definitely the AV port right there. HDMI port. This is the footprint for an Ethernet. So in some variants, there must be an Ethernet on here. And this little teeny, teeny thing is a Broadcom chip. So I would hazard a guess, a well-educated guess, that that is its Wi-Fi. It must have a Wi-Fi chip, and that's how it's re receiving its sort of streaming data. And let me just have a little look-see for the antenna, and there it is. There's the antenna right there. I'll zoom out a bit. I think it's a bit too close. There's actually two antennas here. So, hmm, hmm, that's interesting, because I'm pretty sure the Broadcom is the communications chip. Um, but I would say under this can are the probably the uh, amplifiers and stuff for Wi-Fi. So I'm a bit confused. There might may well be other broad commie type stuff under there. But these are definitely the two antennas. You can see them right there. In fact, it does say right there, antenna two and antenna one. There's a little reset button here actually under the uh, power supply. And that's confirmed because we do have a reset button there. What else can we see? Interesting sort of footprint pattern on the back. So we've got the HDMI on the other side, but we certainly have another port on this side. So I'm not sure if that's dual footprint as so you can mount the HDMI the other way around. Not enough pins for that. Uh, I would have said Ethernet, but we know there's an Ethernet here. And this is the obviously the chip for the Ethernet, and that would be the crystal footprint. Lots of interesting things. But the bit that I kind of am a bit fascinated with is this here. This is footprint for it looks like certainly some chip here but there's a, a BGA a ball grid array chip footprint here plus a crystal so uh, I'm guessing this is Bluetooth and indeed look here Bluetooth antenna 3 so there'd have been a Bluetooth module so they've got a lot of uh, mileage out of this PCB certainly a lot of variants so I'm gonna have a quick look when I'm done and now see what if there's sort of whoever makes the now TV box certainly makes other things but can we see who makes the now TV books? As I said, I think it's Roku, 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 Roku. You can tell me how it's pronounced. But I'd like to see, ideally, if there's a manufacturer's mark on the PCB itself, so we can just confirm that. Not really, just that it's a revision F. S K L zero O T three. So yeah, yeah. It's a mystery PCB. So there's some OEM making these and just selling them to everybody. Something here that's quite interesting too, look at this, an antenna port for an external antenna. So that's quite good to know. So if you've got one of these Sky Now TV boxes, you might be able to actually, well, you definitely will, be able to mount your own external antenna here, just on that. And if you do that, I would advise you probably remove bloop, this capacitor here and bloop, one of these capacitors here. So it just sort of disconnects the other onboard antennas out of the circuit. So there you go. I hope that's been of some use to you. If you know anything about the Now TV and more especially its package, I'd be uh, quite interested to know about that. So yeah, please uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what I can do with this PCB. Uh, apart from something rude like shove this PCB somewhere where the sun don't shine. Uh, you're welcome to say that, uh, but uh, you know, bear in mind, I'm not sure it's quite gonna fit. Not without some lube or some flux. As ever, thank you for watching.